Hello everybody. In the cube program, a serial value where we get the debug value. Let's start and see, and we get the uh, string and uh, numbers and uh, floating and everything. Let's get started with this. For the serial wire where we need this kind of ST link. The wiring diagram, wiring connection is like this. I zoom in here and the other side here. The wiring diagram is here. Sometimes the VCC is here. Sometimes the VCC is the last pin here. Uh, you just uh, check and see where you get 3.3 volt. Let's start a new project file. Uh, new STM32 project. Uh, part number uh, F103C8. You select this one. Next. Uh, name I give a serial uh, wire viewer. Uh, finish. Now we can zoom in. Uh, click system core. Click sys. For the debug, we can select the trace asynchronous SW, this one, and we can see the uh, TDO pin is PB3. That's why I, I connected to this one. If you use different board, whatever the pin comes, you connected the TDO pin to that pin. Uh, you can use this one or you can use the serial wire also. It will work. If serial wire doesn't work, use the other one. Uh, we click RCC for the high speed clock crystal ceramic resonator and go to clock configuration and uh, we use 72 megahertz ok uh, remember this number we will we need to use this frequency in the Q programmer for the serial wire weaver remember this one 72 and uh, now we can click save for simplicity I have given the code in my website the link is description below uh, this is the one also we go go below the code is here in user code begin includes you put only this line we copy this one go to cube ide uh, include is here we paste it and um, user code begin zero we copy from here until here you go to user code begin zero that's here paste it and uh, in the while loop we copy from here until I'll delay we copy it and we go to the while loop and we paste it here uh, for the when we for the float there's an error so what we need to do is we right click this one go to properties C sharp build setting go to MCU setting and we tick this one for the plot uh, while we are here we also do the post build output and we make sure we tick the hex and binary file apply and close uh, now we can save uh, what's happening here is uh, in the user code begin zero we write this function to send the printf to the uh, serial wire viewer. Uh, I have numbers, uh, integer, float and character and uh, everything uh, we are printing there. It's a, y, it's a string, a number, integer and uh, float number, letter like that. And we can even put the, the color here. In this way we put green, red and orange. We have different color for simplicity. Now, now we can save and debug and see for errors and it, it will generate the hex file. You can see the hex file here. Yeah, and you go up. The hex file is here. We upload the code from Cube Programmer. Open this one. I have made a separate video how to install Cube Programmer, how to uh, upload the hex file. It's available here. Uh, connect connected and uh, click this one go erase and programming uh, go to the place YouTube this is where I saved uh, serial wire viewer debug this is the hex file click open 
start program now start program click this one serial via viewer this one serial via viewer and uh, it's automatically detected 72 otherwise change is to 72 megahertz uh, port is 0 uh, activate color and then cl click the start button now there's nothing here uh, re reset the microcontroller press this button this one now the, we can see the number is here just stop and see the string and the number and the floating paint and everything are here Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.